Okay, hey guys, this is Diana from the Misfit Journal Maker. And today I'm doing a flip through of my newest journal. And um, for anybody that would like to know, the kit comes from the Enchan Enchanted Journal Kit. Um, they are on Etsy. They also have a Facebook group um, that is just wonderful. Um, I am just obsessed with their stuff. So I will be doing totally another, um, I already bought another set from them and I will be doing that one soon. So anyway, this is their information. Um, they're on Etsy, the Enchanted Journal Kit. Um, sorry, I don't know the name of the person that created this particular kit, but it is available there. I looked, it's still there and you can go and pick it up if you want. So there's that. I always like to uh, give a shout out to the people that create the kits, if I use a kit. So here we go. This is another huge one. <laughs> um, I don't know, they just get out of hand. <laughs> but um, for those of you who saw my fairy journal, uh, I regretted selling that every day. And this is gonna be another one, but you know what? When you do this, you just can't keep them all, you know? And a part of you, for me anyway, um, goes with every single one of them. I remember them all. Um, I have flip throughs of them all. And I, I don't know, they're like my kids, I guess. I never had children. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, they're just always very special. This one is very, very special. This lace here is 100 years old. I was, let's see, how can I say this? I was hated on for using this, but you know what? I'm getting older and I'm going towards 60. I have, like I said, I have no kids um, and I'm going to use my stuff. You know, this was from my mom. I don't know the exact story, um, but I'm going to use lace, doilies, everything that I have because if I go before my brother, it's all going to go in the trash. You know, there's nobody left in our family and he is not somebody who donates. So, you know what? Sometimes you just got to be like, hey, I'm going to use it. So anyway, I'll stop my talking. <laughs> so I don't know what to call this one. Um, it's a mute. It has a musical theme, but for some reason, um, I guess maybe because of this image and some others, um, it kind of has like a love theme too that I kind of went with it. And actually when I was looking at it today, I was thinking that this would make an awesome journal for a bride to be, um, to write down her, um, story up to her wedding, her wedding day, you know, after, I don't know. I, it just came to my mind. I just thought, you know. It just seemed like it kind of went that way. I don't know. Maybe somebody would disagree, but that's just one of the thoughts that came to me. Anyway, I had to tie it because it is a monster. <laughs> so I used this uh, ribbon here. And like I said, this is a hundred year old lace. So it's very precious. Um, it was not easy to get on there. Um, it's very, it's, well, it's not that fragile, but gluing the little tiny pieces, that was interesting. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to start off by saying I make my journals to be written in. Um, I don't have them, have them so chock full of stuff that you can't put your own personality and your own pictures and memorabilia and who knows, maybe love letters, whatever, you know, that you can't put all those things in here and treasure them. I, I don't, I just don't do the other ones. It's not me. So anyway, um, there is a lot in here, but so much of it can be taken out and, um, put back in or just taken out completely if you don't want it in there. But, um, you know, I have, uh, for it, so that you can write behind, I made a writing board. So as you go through, use the board to write. 
that comes with it. Okay, so um, I normally put a pocket here so that whether you keep it or you give it away, um, you can write when you started it or whatever you want. Or if it's a gift, you can put a note to the person you're giving it to. And um, so, yeah, here we go. I am in love with this kit. It just is gorgeous. Um, I have a lot of pages that I used uh, edge punches. And I'm just crazy about those. <laughs> That's some actual music paper for someone who writes music. Here's some other different punched out edges. I have a belly band with these really pretty little cards that have the burnt edges that you can write on the back. This is a decoupage um, bag. You could put whatever you want in there. I would have stuffed it, but as you can see, <laughs> there's no room. <laughs> Here's another one with the edges punched. Has a lot of writing room. A lot, a lot of writing room. Here's the other side of this one. I am obsessed with this. I just love this heart one. I think that's what made me think of it as like a love journal. I have put a lot of hearts in it. Um, this is one of the things that you can take out and never put it back in, or you can put something in it. I always put in all my journals um, a little tea pocket with my favorite tea, and um, that, once you drink it, or you don't have to, whatever, but it's really good, um, <laughs> then you can either put something else in this little envelope. It's got Velcro. Um... Or I don't know. It's up to you. If I can get the next page open. <laughs> there we go. Middle of the first signature. I didn't put any charms in this one except for on the bookmark because it just didn't, I don't know. It just didn't seem like it was a charmy journal, if that makes sense. Here is a cluster that has also a 100-year-old hundred lace piece on it. Um, I used some um, flat back pearls and you can open it up and write in there. I love this. Um, it was just a strip with the piano keys and I thought that would be really cute on the edge. So I included it in each signature. the back of that bag there is 20 pages in each signature <laughs> I went a little crazy <laughs> um the here is just some a pocket with a bunch of little tags uh, a few actually I have different ones some of these have I have a whole bag full of stuff so I can switch them out, but they do, most of them have this so you can write on the back. And um, just some different tags. I really love this one. Right on the back of all of them. Uh, here's a bookmark. Okay, that's first signature, second signature. I just repeated throughout um, the same punches um, so that it kind of went together. Um, this is my corset pocket, and it has a tag here, and then it has two tags back here. Some more hard punch. I love this page. <laughs> so there's a lot of room that you can put family photos in here, all kinds of stuff. 
I mean, these pages can be drawn on um, if you're artistic. I'm not, I can't draw a stick figure. And this, I, I found this, and you know what? I think that's another thing about the... <laughs> I could not resist putting it in. I just had to. It does not go with the set. Um, this is the only thing in here that does not go with the set. Um, that is, uh, unless I made it, which is like the ephemera stuff. But yeah, I really love that. Here's a little envelope, and um, I didn't put anything in this because, like I said, we're a little bit jammed here. More piano keys. Here's another um, piece of that lace and some more flat back pearls. There's one of these in each signature. And I did matching belly bands in each signature. The um, the graphics in here is just, they're just amazing to me. Um, this is a belly band that I thought of in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep. <laughs> and um, it's just these little envelopes. You can put stuff in them. They have Velcro um, little closures. And I used um, some antique buttons on there. And, um, yeah, I really love this. I did a video on this, uh, how to do it, which is really simple. Oh, I'm in frame well here. And that's the second signature. And here is a corner bookmark. Which has antique lace, so antique that it's turning brown. But you know what? That was kind of a theme here, using the old, old stuff. And here's another piece of that lace with some more flat back pearls. Flip out. And here's another bag. This one I decoupaged um, onto it. Um, I think there's a better way to do this. <laughs> the first one, uh, that was a gift um, to me. And I thought, I'm going to try that, but um, I, I don't know. It, it came out pretty good, but I'm not a big fan of Mod Podge anymore. So I don't know. I'm going to keep trying this because I really love it. it. I love the way it came out. But um, yeah, I think there's an, another way to do that. I'm sure one of you guys out there knows. And here's another beautiful little envelope. Some more corners that were punched. Some more lace. I'm trying to go fast here. Middle of the third section uh, signature. And here's another one of the um, old gosh. Please tell me we did not get glued. Oh. Worst nightmare ever. Anyway, yeah, they both come out. You can write them both up. And this is a little fold out. And it's got um, these little cards that you can write on the back of. And then it also has a great big tag back here that you can also write on the back of. And I, I used the uh, twine because it kind of wanted to like pop up because it's made out of cardstock. And when you use this, it holds it down. And I thought it was really cute too, so. I love this image too. Here's the other side of that um, bag. Some more writing room. And that's it. And this is the actual piece of 100 year old lace that I scanned and used for both um, 
the inside and the back of the cover. Um, this is the actual lace that matches the real one right here. So that is the huge, huge journal. And um, oh, it's going to be a sad day to get rid of it. I hate saying get rid of it. Give it, give it to its new owner, put it that way. Okay, so we're not done. Okay, so I had so much stuff that, again, like with, sorry, I hit the camera, you guys. Uh-oh. Um, like with my fairy journal, um, I'm giving a goodie bag with it. Um, like I said, you get the, um, the writing board that's going to come with it. Um, this was supposed to go in the journal. There was no room. Um, this is a beautiful um, antique lace and trim um, little tablet that I made with all different types of really cute papers. And um, I used music paper for the back. And I love this. And this is an antique button. And that goes with it. I also made this um, collaged card that I hand sewed a blanket stitch around that was going to go in but there's no room so I will also include that um, I used some gilding uh, gold gilding paste here I guess that's what you call it and these are pieces from the kit and this is the antique lace again um, and yeah so I really love making these they're so fun and here's the goodie bag and actually the there's so much stuff in here again. You could probably make another half of a journal. Um, I just did not have the room. Um, and I wanted to put some of the stuff in like some of the little po uh, pockets and also the, um, the envelopes. And I wanted to, there's things in here you could, you know, glue onto the pages. But I thought, you know, there's also little cards that say drums or little um, sayings about music. And I thought, you know, the person who gets this, they can choose what they want to do with the rest of it. Whether it be to make another small journal or to just, um, as they go, add little pieces here and there from what's in the goodie bag. So, um, this journal is for sale. And um, I am putting the information in my group, which is the Misfit Journal Group um, on Facebook. And it will go up for sale after this video is uploaded to YouTube. And all the information will be there. Um, otherwise, you can message me. And um, I hope you guys love this journal as much as I do. And um, until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening. And um, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you as a subscriber here on my YouTube. Or come by and um, check out my group on Facebook. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And that's it. Until next time, have a good one.